even though Justice League underperformed financially last year, there is a silver lining in the dark cloud of the box office performance of the movie and the DC Extended Universe as a whole. Maybe. Depending on how you look at it. And this article that I'm going to talk about is proof that that may be the case. I'm on Heroic Hollywood, and they put this article out earlier this year, well, January 1st, that Justice League has helped Time Warner beat quarter four estimates. So, Justice League's box office performance, even though it was, you know, $656 million is what it wound up getting total before it left theaters worldwide. That's not too shabby, but that's not that great for a movie that has, you know, DC's biggest heroes and is the sequel to Batman v Superman, which made 860 or 70 million. People were expecting Justice League to do more. But even so, that 656 million was the tipping point on top of all the other movies Warner Brothers released in 2017. So it did help. And let's go, this article delves a bit more deeply into it. According to a report from Deadline, Justice League's performance helped lift Time Warner's total revenue to $8.6 billion for the year. That would be 2017, I assume. A 9% improvement from last year. And I assume this is, for that means 2016. Time Warner CEO Jeff Bukes is happy with the company's performance in 2017, stating that they met all of their performance goals across all of their assets, including Warner Brothers, HBO, and Turner. Okay, going down a bit. In addition to the success of Justice League, Warner Brothers films such as Kong Skull Island, I like Kong Skull Island, I saw that with friends, Wonder Woman, Dunkirk, and It all outperformed expectations. And yeah, all those other movies I named, they did. They made more money than a lot of people were expecting them to make. So if you add those two together, the box office of those, on top of Justice League, that helped Warner Brothers do exactly what it was hoping to do for last year, 2017. And here's an interesting fact that a lot of people overlook or just don't notice because the internet is filled, filled with all of this anti-DC negativity and toxic, toxicity when it comes to their movies. Is that according to CBR, the DC movie universe is more successful than the MCU after five films. And what they mean is financially. If you look at the first five films, including Justice League, in order, Man of Steel, BVS, Suicide Squad, Wonder Woman, and Justice League taken together, those first five films earn more money in total than Marvel's first five movies did with the MCU. And this article is going to delve into that. I'll paraphrase it. As of the time of this writing, the DCU has grossed $1.6 billion at the domestic box office. Adjusted for inflation, the MCU made $1.3 billion for its first five films. That's right. That's right. The DCEU's first chapter outperformed Marvel's by almost $300 million. This article is saying, I read it first before I paraphrase this, that financially DCU is doing pretty good compared to Marvel at first. But people always like to compare DC to where Marvel is today. You know, Marvel has, rightfully so, they started, I think, with Iron Man in 2018, so they're almost like 10 years into their cinematic universe. DC started, you know, I think with Man of Steel in 2014, almost six or seven years after, and they're playing catch-up, admittedly. And they are kind of, initially, they were trying to rush to get to Marvel success by doing all these kinds of movies without slowly building the foundation to, you know, organically get to where Marvel is. They're rushing into things, which has caused them to trip up. But even so, they're just five movies in compared to Marvel's like five million movies in. But everybody likes to, you know, act as if Marvel and DC started making these cinematic connected universes at the same time. And they didn't. And, you know, so that kind of gets lost in the conversation. And I understand why, because, you know, DC maybe needed to take things a bit slower in the movies and didn't. And so that's kind of one of the reasons why they've gotten into some of the problems they've had. But I did want to highlight that Justice League is a part of DC's successful financial history, if you take it in total with what the other movies have made clumped together. I know that looking at it by itself, Justice League did underperform. It made less money than a lot of other movies that came out in 2017 including Thor Ragnarok that came out two weeks before. So yes, I mean, Justice League definitely didn't succeed in a crucial area on its own. But it wasn't as big of a disaster as a lot of people like to make it out to be. And for what it's worth, I did enjoy Justice League. It definitely had its faults. But I thought it was a fun time at the movies. And I think 
given you know what I've just told you, the facts that I've laid before you in this video, if you have any doubt that DC, that Warner Brothers is going to continue with DC movies, you can rest assured they are. I mean, they know they can make and they are making money with these movies. They're already making Aquaman that's coming out later this year. Shazam's coming out afterwards in 2019. And then we have Wonder Woman 2. There's going to be a ton of them. They're making the Batman. Don't worry. DC isn't going to stop making these movies. And they know that they can make a lot of money with them. But anyways, that's my quick DC movie update for the day. Trying to let you see the silver lining among all of the dark clouds that people like to, you know, put over the DC movie universe. There's hope and there's positivity, but there you go. And I just gave it to you. If you'd like to watch me make more videos about DC movies and TV shows, please like the video and subscribe to the channel because I like making these kinds of videos and I will talk to you soon. I appreciate your viewership. Bye.